we are glad to have you back on the God's Light channel. I want you to remember just one thing. Stop worrying. Stop stressing about everything. Worry is killing you, and it shows that your trust has shifted from God to something else. This means you are not entirely sure that God can handle your situation. So my friends, in this video, I will change your perspective and you will see the truth. I just want you to open your heart, receive the blessings of this powerful prayer, and keep watching until the end to understand it. In Matthew chapter 6, verses 25 to 27, we read, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body. What you will wear is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? Lewis speaks about this in Screw Tape Letters. Gratitude looks to the past and love to the present. Fear, avarice, lust and ambition look anxiously to the future. He, God, wants men to listen to him and trust in his care in the present moment. When you worry, you are basically telling God, this is a difficult situation, and I'm not sure everything will be fine if I rely only on you. I prefer to try other solutions so you carry all the burden while God waits for you to hand over your concerns to Him. Worrying means feeling troubled by real or imaginary problems, but worry doesn't help. It does more harm than good. It wastes your time, disturbs your inner peace, and prevents you from living in the present, trying to control every aspect of your life. Bills, children, health, career, finances, all of this leads to burnout. Lewis speaks in his book, Mere Christianity. God designed the human machine to run on himself. He himself is the fuel our spirits were designed to burn. Or the food our spirits were designed to feed on. There is no other. That is why it is just no good asking God to make us happy in our own way, without bothering about religion. God cannot give us a happiness and peace, apart from himself. Because it is not there, there is no such thing. When you carry these burdens instead of giving them to Christ, you are setting yourself up for exhaustion. Learn to trust God with your concerns and your anxieties will decrease. This will allow you to live a more peaceful life. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Cast all your anxiety on Him because He cares for you. You have a loving Father who can carry your burdens, so why not hand them over to Him? Prayer is a powerful way to hand over your burdens to God. Worry opens the door to negative emotions like anxiety, depression, and fear. It can even lead to health problems due to stress and sleepless nights. Instead of worrying, pray. Pray. Pray, Lewis says, in mere Christianity, believe in God and you won't have to worry about the nature of this world. People who put God first are the ones who transform the lives of those around them. Worrying is a sign of lack of faith and Satan uses it to make you doubt God's power. The time spent worrying could be used for prayer, planning, and strategic thinking. Entrusting your burdens to God doesn't mean being lazy. It's about finding balance by praying and taking actions driven by faith. Be open to learning and listening to God's voice. Don't just wait. Be active through prayer. God will guide you to the right place, help you connect with the right people, and give you the right words. Why worry when you can pray? Why think when you can trust? Why be anxious when you can ask? Why be depressed when you can depend on Him? Why let your burden weigh on you when you can hand it over to Him? Many turn to prayer as a last resort, but prayer should be your first response when facing challenges. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. You can pray about everything, even the small things. Lewis says in his book, Miracles, when we hand our worries over to God, we acknowledge that He, not us, is in control of the universe. We are not called to carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. That is God's job. Remember, He can calm the stormy seas and give you peace. As you trust in Jesus, your worries and fears will fade away. When you feel overwhelmed, remember the times God has intervened on your behalf in the past. Reflect on the miracles and answered prayers you have experienced. Perhaps you have not received answers because you have not asked. Pray with faith and God will answer. Prayer should be your go-to response in every situation. When you pray, you will not have time to worry. Cultivate the habit of prayer and rest in God. Find peace through prayer. Instead of worrying, hand your burdens over to God. Remember His promises and trust in Him. Do not worry. Instead, pray about everything. Worry acknowledges a problem and panics while prayer reports it to someone who can solve it. 
God is almighty, and no situation is too big for him. Take time to study the Bible and learn about God's promises for your life. Praying without faith is futile, and faith comes from the Word of God. Immerse yourself in the Scriptures to build a strong foundation of faith. Lewis speaks in his book, The Weight of Glory, yet Christ himself taught us to assign all our worries to God's providential care, who watches even the sparrows and counts the hairs on our heads. Pray with gratitude and confidence that God hears you. 1 John chapter 5 verse 14 says, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. Believe that God hears you when you pray. When you pray, you are communicating with your Heavenly Father. It is a way of asking for help, guidance, or intervention from God. Have faith that He hears your prayers. Your situation may seem impossible, but as a child of God, you have an advantage. Prayer can turn night into day. The time you spend worrying can be used for prayer. Worry does not solve problems, but prayer does. It is normal to feel anxious sometimes, but choose prayer over worry. Focus on Jesus, not the storm. Amen. Call out to Him for help. Whether it is about your job, your children, or your finances, now is the time to refocus on Jesus and let Him work in your life. Trust that He will guide you through every storm and challenge. Lewis says in his book, The problem of pain, life with God is not immunity from difficulties, but peace in difficulties. Trusting God means surrendering to His care, knowing that He can and will do what is best for us. You are the healer of our bodies and the restorer of our hearts. I trust in your loving care for each member of my family. Please wrap them in your protective arms and grant them peace and health. I also entrust to you my financial concerns, Lord. In a world full of uncertainties, I know you are the ultimate provider. Help me to trust in your provision, to manage my resources wisely, and to use them to bless others as you have blessed me. Lewis says in his book, Reflections on the Psalms, When we turn to God in the midst of our worries, we are acknowledging His sovereignty and power over all things. This frees us from the burden of trying to control what is beyond our control. Prayer is essential, and worry only makes things worse. Focus on God's Word and His promises. Choose prayer over worry, and watch your life change. You can trust in God's unwavering love and strength. The Bible says that the prayers of the righteous are powerful. Take advantage of the power of prayer, and you will find peace and abundance in every area of your life. Free yourself from your worries and choose to trust in the one who can handle anything. It's through prayer, faith, and dependence on God, you will discover the freedom and peace that only He can provide. There is a Bible verse for every problem you face. Study the Bible and know God's promises. Without faith, you cannot pray. And without prayer, you will worry. Dive deep into the scriptures to understand God's guidance and promises for your life. Building a strong foundation of faith allows for powerful prayer and helps to alleviate worries. Strengthen your bond with God through His Word. Trust in His peace and free yourself from the burden of worry. So, brother and sister, let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, You know the challenges and anxieties that weigh heavily on my heart. You know the sleepless nights, the restless thoughts, and the doubts that trouble my soul. But I come before you now and I come before you now, not in despair, but in faith. I choose to cast my anxieties on you, for I believe that you care for me as a loving father cares for his child. Your word reminds me that I should not be anxious about anything, but pray about everything. And so, Lord, I bring my worries to you one by one. First and foremost, I place before you my concerns about my family, our health, our relationships, our future, Lord. Lord, I bring my work and career before you. I pray for guidance and wisdom in every decision I make. Grant me the strength to excel in my responsibilities and to be a light to those I encounter in my workplace. I surrender my worries about the future, Lord. You have the plan for my life, and I trust that your plans for me are good. Help me to walk in faith, knowing that you are guiding me on the right path. Lord, I also lift up the burdens of those around me, friends, loved ones, and even those I may not know who are struggling. May your comforting presence be felt by all who are in need. Use me as a vessel of your love and compassion to bring hope to those who are suffering. As I lay these worries before you, Lord, I choose to exchange my worries for your peace. Your word promises that your peace surpasses all understanding. Fill my heart with this peace, Lord, and guard my thoughts and emotions in Christ Jesus. Finally, I thank you, Lord, for the countless times you have been my refuge and strength in times of trouble. I thank you for your unwavering love and the assurance that I can bring all my concerns to you in prayer. I declare my trust in you, my faith in your promises, and my surrender to your will. 
May your Holy Spirit continue to guide me and remind me that in prayer I find comfort and strength. I hope you enjoyed this powerful prayer. Like this video, share it with those who need it, and subscribe for more videos like this. Until the next video.